Good evening, everyone. Let's do this all again. So welcome to um, our special edition of Kids Talk Tuesdays on Tuesday, August the 18th at 6 p.m., which is a little after 6 p.m. now. I think maybe 6.15. Let me check exactly. 6.14. So um, as we usually are, we've had some technical difficulties, so my apologies for that. Um, again, thank you for all of those that are tuning in, that are watching. Thank you for those that have taken the time to share this video, and um, I apologize to your guests that you may have shared it with that um, noticed that we were having some trouble. I was actually in a different Zoom room than what I invited our guests to, um, which is weird um but that was my fault i take full responsibility for that so welcome again thank you for being here um as i mentioned before kids talk tuesdays is a platform for young kid authors and kid entrepreneurs to um, use their voices in a positive manner to tell their stories in a way to inspire other young children um so excuse me um, with that being said, um, we are well on our way. We started this at the end of July, and my um, son, Josiah King, kicked us off. He wrote a book titled Outer Space and Me. Um, his interview went very well, and since then, we have had some phenomenal authors on our show. Last week, you might have had the opportunity to tune in and listen to Colby McAllister, um, who I just adore, was an amazing um, kid. He is just... Um, um, just doing great things. Um, we've also had the opportunity to interview Miss Ashlyn Olsen, Ashley's Heart of Magic. Um, she was just a little darling and just um, inspiring people through her message of um, pre bullying prevention. We've also had the opportunity to interview Jared Stanton, and he is doing a work with raising awareness about children illnesses and um, the importance of celebrating your uniqueness. Um, so we have really had a great lineup. Um, today we actually actually had um, our, an author that backed out um, that had some other business to attend to. So I really, really am grateful for our author tonight. Um, I'm going to introduce Tim in a moment, but I really appreciate him stepping in um, because the show must go on, right? Um, so I'm so excited about tonight's show. Again, I want to thank all of those that have been participating, all the parents that have been supporting their children to make sure that they are on and they are ready to go, that has been doing um, um, all of the background work, you know, setting up cameras and things, because this is not easy, guys. Um, so I really appreciate all of you. I appreciate those who have been sharing our information. Maybe it was a flyer. Maybe it was a video. Um, those that have just come alongside and been supporting us. Thank you so very much. You can always watch these replays on our YouTube channel, which is Mynesha and Sons. Um, you can watch it again on Facebook. Um, so it's always available. If you weren't able to tune in, that's why I ask you guys to share it because others can see later down the line. But these kids are doing some amazing work um, in their communities, in their schools. And so what better way, you know, to pay homage to them, to them, to show them that we care as adults, to let them know that we are listening um, and that, you know, they can make a difference. So without further ado, here is our uh, special edition of Kids Talk Tuesday tonight. Our guest is none other than my oldest son, Judah King. Um, he is going to be with us. He is in the waiting room. Let's bring Judah in. Judah? Judah? Are you in? You have to unmute your um, mic and your video, please. Here I am. So I can see that you unmuted your mic, but your video isn't working. Thank you. <laughs> it's not? It is now. It is. Okay. All right. So welcome, Judah. Thank you for having me. 
Yeah, I appreciate you being here and for coming in last minute. Um, as we always tell you, me and your dad always tell you, you never know when you gonna when you have to be ready. You know, always be ready to um, take every challenge on. You know, and just um, suiting up, ready to go. So I appreciate you for coming in at the last minute because you actually weren't scheduled till next month, correct? Yes. So I appreciate you for stepping up tonight, and we're going to have some fun. Are you ready? Awesome. So um, before we get started, I would like you to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about... Yes. So I'm originally Pittsburgh, but I moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, ball and baseball. Um, and um, I like to um, play video games. Oh, I don't know if we're going to. I'm losing you. Um, it's a really bad connection. Um, let me see. Can you hear me? Like, I mean, can you hear me through your computer screen? Okay, because I'm only hearing your voice from where yes. you are. This is not working out. Let me see, what can we do to change this? Did you take turn your... You can keep your mic on because you're going to need to answer the questions. It's not the mic. Yeah, it's not that. It's It's got to be something with the Wi-Fi. So we'll just try to keep going and see um, if we can get through this. Because I think because we're in the same location and there's like interference happening. But we'll see. You can hear me though, right? All right. So thank you for introducing yourself. Yes. Again. Um, <clears throat> you might have to take that headset off. Take that off, please. Okay. All right. You ready? Yes. I think that's better. I think it was the headset was um maybe there was a short in it so um can you take a moment and reintroduce yourself because it was really broken up okay so hi my name is judy king i live in charlotte north carolina i like to play sports such as basketball football and i like to play baseball i also like to play video games all right thank you Excuse me. So um, you're here tonight because you are a kid author. Uh, what is the title of the book you wrote or co-wrote? The book I wrote was King of the Court, a handbook for young ballers. All right. And you co-wrote this with your dad, correct? Yes. All right. Uh, why did you choose to write this book? I chose to write this book because there's like a lot of little kids who want to start playing basketball or who or want to play basketball, but they don't, they just don't know how to start to do. So basically, you know, my book helps them, you know, know how to start off with playing basketball. Okay. So what are some things that are in your book that will help a younger child? Um, or even a child your age understand about basketball? You know, it would, it would help them, you know, with their hand-eye coordination as well as their fine motor skills. And it will also help them, you know, develop psychologically. Awesome. That's great. Um, all children need as much support as they possibly can. With that, um, I know that a lot of times in schools, there are manipulatives that assist with that. You know, there's puzzles and all kinds of things, but sports are a great 
um, mechanism or outlet for children to be able to gain those same type of skills. So um, that's great that you decided to do that. Um, another question I have for you is, uh, when did you write your book? I wrote my book in late, late April, and I finished around mid-May. Mid okay, awesome. Um, would you say your writing process was easy? Was it hard, scary, or difficult? Well, difficult and hard is the same, so let me switch it. Was it easy, hard, scary, or fun? It's, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't hard. It was, it was just like, you know, kind of like, it was kind of easy because, you know, I know myself and I know basketball. And so basically we just worked together and I just knew like what to write. Okay. Um, I want to ask you a little bit more about your process, but I'm going to ask you to move to, do me a favor and move closer to the, um, the Wi-Fi um, modem, because I really think that you're breaking up a lot. So can you come like up in a different, not in the same room as I am, of course, but maybe up on the um, second level closer to um, the hallway or the room or something, and let's see if that'll help out with this because it's really lagging. Okay. I'll give you a moment while you're doing that. Um, you can turn your video off as you move, and I'm so it's not distracting anybody. Just turn the video off. Thank you. Let's see if that works with you moving. Um, in the meantime, so um, as you guys are hearing this um, young author and his uh, explorations and how he came up with the concept for his book, uh, is this this might be better. Thank you. Um, put in the comments, like, what do you think so far? Like, do you know children that may be interested in um, a book that's teaching them, a handbook that's teaching them about basketball? I know that there's so many uh, young people out there, especially in the Charlotte area. I mean, we go to these games, and I mean, these, these young kids, they looking like they're about five years old sometimes playing basketball. So this would be a great book for you to um, purchase for them. Put, share in the comments, what are you thinking so far? We'll continue, and um, believe me, I will get to get to your comments um, and answer any questions you may have. But let's continue with Judah's interview. Hopefully, he's in a better spot right now. So Judah, we talked about, um, you said your process was sort of easy. Um, tell us a little bit about what did you do during your process of writing your book? So I brainstormed a lot. I brainstormed on how, was, how I was going to structure the book and what I was going to write about. And so basically my dad gave me writing prompts and writing activities on what to write. And once I wrote like according to those prompts and activities based off of what I wrote we structured it into a book we put it where it could flow as a book okay that's good that was a good technique do me one more favor and actually shut um the door where you are because it's reaching out to where I am we just happen to be, of course, in the same house. Um, so I don't want you guys to have this interference. Can you shut your door really quick? Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, so he had writing prompts and activities to kind of get him going. And we do this with the children in order for them to be excited and not feel like, oh, I'm just writing, writing, writing. So there's a goal. Um, thank you for sharing that, Judah. Now, um, you talked about when you wrote the book. And I believe you said it was completed sometime in April. Is that what you said? Yes, late April. Okay. Um, you talked about why you wrote the book, correct? Yes. And, uh, let's, you, you, you told us a little bit about your process. Um, let me ask you this. What was your favorite highlight about your book? My favorite highlight was just being able, like me getting 
he finished and then me getting approved as an author on Amazon and then people like from my family being able to buy my books. Okay, so that was your highlight. And what do you enjoy most? Is that also, or is that maybe also what you enjoy most about being an author? Yes. Is people being able to buy your book? Yes. Okay, cool. Is there anything that you don't like about being a kid author? Um, no. No, nothing at all? Okay, no. cool. How can people get in touch with you if they were interested in purchasing your book? Oh, they could go on Amazon.com and they could look up the title of my book. King on the Court, a handbook for young ballers, and then it should pop up and then they can buy it. Okay. Do you know the price of your book? I believe it's twelve ninety nine. Yeah. And another way I can help you out because <laughs> I am your mom. I can um let people know that you can also purchase Judah's book on um the King's Press website, which is www.kings presspublishing.com so that's another way that you can get his book any information any questions that you may um, want to that you may have or information that you may want to know you can follow us on the king's press llc facebook page we're also on instagram as the king's press llc so we are available if anyone is interested in inviting judah out to work with a group of young children or um, to speak about his experience as an author or as an athlete. Um, so let's talk more about, um, we talked about on the court or some of the things that you put in your book. Let's talk about your basketball experience. What are some things that you've done over the years in basketball? Traveled to different states, um, played in tournaments, you know, played against teams from other states, and um, you know, just traveling, really. Where are some of the places you've been playing? Um, Atlanta, Tennessee, Durham. Uh, we've been... We've been... We've been in other places, but I can't remember them. South Carolina. Oh, yeah, South Carolina, which was in... Which was Myrtle Beach. Um, here, Raleigh and yeah, Raleigh, Greensboro, Greensboro, yeah, gr um, so, um, various places, and that's an awesome opportunity for you to be able to travel as a young boy, um, playing basketball, doing something that you love. Um, so I love to be able to watch and um, get to see those experiences or be a part of those experiences and see you um, perform. You're not only a good performer on the court, though, Judah, you are a great performer in the classroom. Let's talk about um, some of the things you've been recognized for in school. Um, so basically in fifth grade, um, out of the whole school, you know, I was chosen by my principal to um, attend this STEM and vision program and it's um, like worldwide anybody can be chosen to go and since I was an alumni at the Envision program I was invited to go to the White House but I didn't go because I just I just didn't see the letter <laughs> Well, well, yeah, we probably didn't tell you in enough time, but um, that was also a great honor just to be invited um, and then also to participate in that Envision, Envision STEM summer camp. Um, where did that camp take place? It took place in, it took place in Winston-Salem. On what campus? Uh, it was Wake, it was Wake Forest. Yeah, Wake Forest University. Um, talk a little bit about that experience. What did you learn? What did you gain? Um, you know, I learned, I learned a lot of things. It was a um, long time ago, so I don't remember a lot. But I do remember one time where we were able to, you know, like they had cows' um, hearts, 
And so basically we were able to, you know, like inspect the cow's hearts and look at the different parts in it. And that was a fun experience. Yeah, so they, you guys focused on forensics, medicine, and um, it was another part of science. I don't remember myself because um, everything is running together. But I do remember, um, you know, when you would come back from the um, campus and tell us all about your experience and things that you were doing. And um, you guys got to do a final um, production on all of what you did through the summer. And I remember there was a lot of investigating and things going on um, and a lot of science experiments. So that was a great opportunity for you. And like you said, it led to you being invited to the White House. Um, what types of grades do you make in school? A's and B's and all A's. Okay, so pretty much for, um, you're typically yes and that on a roll range, which we're very proud of. So I just wanted to point those things out because um, your book highlights um, you being a king on the court or you know how you're um, progressing and the experience that you've had and the things that you've learned of being a basketball player, but that a lot of that discipline also transfers um, to the classroom or, or it's been transferred from the classroom onto the court. So I appreciate how you're developing and how you're growing. And I thank you again um, for your time tonight. Before we get ready to close out, if you had an opportunity, Judah, um, to share with young other young children uh, your age and to inspire them, what would be some of your last comments that you would leave our audience with this evening? A life of almost is basically a life of never. A life of almost is basically a life of never. Can you elaborate on what you mean by that? Basically, what I'm saying is if you're trying to complete something or you're doing something and you keep saying, I almost had it, I almost had it, then you're never going to complete that because you just came right there from completing it. So if you keep doing that, then you're never going to do it. If you keep, what, saying almost? No, if you keep, like, like, yeah, if you keep saying, like, I almost got there, I almost got there, and you didn't make an improvement, that's basically, you didn't get there. You're never going to get it if you keep doing that. Okay, all right. That's, that's a pretty good word. So say that one more time. <laughs> a life of almost is basically a life of never. Okay. So get it done, like make sure that it happens, in other words. Yeah. That mm -hmm. That's some good stuff. I appreciate that. I wish I would have thought like that um, or had that motto as a young kid. So you are well on your way. Um, real quick, again, I know we're closing out. I just want to ask a few of your favorites, things that excite you, you know, um, what are some of the things that you get really excited about? I'm going to go down a list and I want you to just tell me your favorite. So when we're talking about exciting things, um, what's your favorite book? My favorite book is, um, you know, like what genre or? You could, genre or the, ti uh, the title of the book, whatever, whatever you, what's, what's your favorite? My favorite things to read are like mysteries um, and adventure. Okay. All right, cool. What about um, toys? Do you have a favorite toy? Nope. No favorite toy? I mean, no. it could be like Xbox or something like that. I don't mean toy like a little dinosaur. Oh, yeah, yeah a game console. Game console. Okay, which yeah. one? Uh, PlayStation, Xbox. Okay, oh. just allowing your audience to know a little bit about you. Do you have a favorite hobby or pastime? A favorite hobby or pastime? Um, it's playing sports, playing outside. You know, I like to ride my bike and go on um, jumps and different things. Okay, so adventure. How about um, favorite singer or artist? No. 
No, not at all. Or you don't want to tell me. <laughs> um, what about favorite dance? Um, I don't pay attention to dances. Oh, you don't. You don't. Yeah. This, no. I love the dances you do all day long. I gotta tell him, listen, y'all. We're in the kitchen. I'm trying to fix plates. This boy in the kitchen dancing. Like every moment I turn around, it's like this boy got some kind of dance move going on. But you don't have a favorite dance. You don't pay attention. No, I just see it a lot. It's exposed. All right. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to move on. Um, how about spending time with? Do you have a favorite person that you'd like to spend time with? My cousins, my family. All right, cool. And last but not least, you have a favorite food? Yes. And it is? Bacon cheeseburgers. Bacon cheeseburgers. You, could, you looked real excited when you said that. Your whole face lit up. All right, so um, Judah, so we got a chance to know about you as the author, um, a little bit more about you as the student, um, and then just you as the person by knowing some of your favorite things. Is there anything, any other comments, anything else you'd like us to know before we close? Um, no. No. All right. No problem. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you being here. Um, do, oh, I know. I didn't ask you. Do you have anything that you're working on? Um, any upcoming projects? Um, I think... No, I, I, yes, I am. I am. No or yes? Yes. And what, what would that be? You don't have to tell us all of it, but what would that be? Um, it's called Candy World. Oh, is that a game? Is that a toy? What is Candy World? No, it's a book. It's, a, it's basically about, like, our family, you know, we, um, there was this, teleporter there was this um portal basically and we went to go we had a yard sale and we bought it and we were exploring this candy world and it just turned out to be a disaster okay all right so you don't have to give us too much i thought you might have been working on something else um so great i appreciate that I've, i'm sorry that i left that out um so guys, if you wanted to follow Judah, if you wanted to, as I said, keep in touch with him or purchase any products, um, again, you can reach us at www.kingspresspublishing.com. You can also reach us on Facebook at the King's Press LLC and then on Instagram. Um, on, at, at the King's Press LLC. And I was a little bit harder on you, Judah, tonight than what I normally am with our kid authors, just because you are my child. So I probably pushed you a little bit more, um, asked a few more questions. Um, but thank you so much for handling it, um, handling it like a pro and um, letting us know more about you and your work. I appreciate you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. All right, guys. So um, thank you again for tuning in. That concludes our interview with Judah King. I do hope that um, you enjoyed his interview. I hope that there was something that inspired you or something that inspired another child if there are children that you can that have watched this but again please feel free to share the video please feel free to um leave any comments or ask any questions or get in touch with us if you like to we are here um, we are always looking for other kid authors and entrepreneurs so if you are a parent or family member of a kid author or a kid entrepreneur please send them our way um, we are booked for the month of september so we are looking out to bring others on in october 
and that happens really fast time moves really fast so we would love for you to go ahead and share their information with us now so that we can get them prepared we hope that you will continue to tune in to kids talk tuesdays every tuesday at 6 p.m eastern standard time on facebook live again as i said you can re-watch the video at any time on youtube our youtube channel is my nisha and sons and you can watch it here because i also will um you can, I will share it to where you can rewatch it or someone else can watch it, you know, later. Um, but this is every Tuesday. I also want to let you know that on Saturdays, I do a live read along for children in grades age, grades age, grades K through five. So that is typically the younger child. I read children's stories um, to them and help with them with their reading development. Um, a lot of it is we focus on reading comprehension, comprehension, excuse me, building vocabulary, um, making inferences, uh, characterization, um, and those types of skills. So if you have young children and you would like them to tune in on Saturdays at 1030 on the King's Press, we will be available. It is live. You can watch it again at any time because it is shared. So thank you for your time this evening. And we look forward to seeing you again.